This is the walkthrough of the exam paper from the grade 12 November 2020 RT exam, the practical paper, paper one. And in our previous video, we did 1.1 and 1.2, and we're going to continue with question one and do 1.3. So for 1.3, they want us to convert an integer value into a binary number. Um, and so they basically give, tell us how it's calculated if you've forgotten how to do it. But you basically divide it the number by two every single time and then you get that answer that's left what's left over exactly and divided by two and you keep dividing by two and whatever the remainder is okay whatever's left over after you've done the division you keep track of that and that's what's actually going to be what forms part of your binary number so we don't care about the decimal value so we're not going to be using divide we're actually going to be using div over here to divide the number and keep dividing and we keep doing this until we keep doing until the what's left over is a zero. When we get to the zero, then we know that's finished. So we don't know how long or how many times we need to do this division. So this tells us that because we don't know how many times we need to do this process, we need to do a loop that stops for a particular condition. So we can use to have to use a while or a repeat loop. And we need to keep track of the remainder. And we're going to make it a string and just add on these digits to the string. But just remember, because we're reading from the bottom to the top, we're actually not going to add on the remainder to the end of our string, we're gonna add it to the front so that it keeps adding it. So this value comes first and then the rest, and then this value comes first and so on, because we can start from the top. Okay, so if you didn't understand what I'm doing, we'll, we'll get through it. So, write the following codes, let's go through. They actually give us quite step by step what we need to do. So we, don't, we just have to follow the steps. They've given us the basic um, algorithm or recipe of what to do, so we just follow that for now. So let's go to our program. So yeah, we, from the previous question, let's go to the binary number. So there's the edit box, EDTQ13. Um, so here we go. And we need to, first of all, get the number from the edit box, which is EDTQ13. We get it from the text property, but this is a number. So we need to convert it from what it is, a string, to what we want it to become an integer. So there we go. There we've got the input so i think that's the first step yes to, to retrieve the number initialize a string variable to store the binary value we initialize in, when you're initializing a string you're basically initializing it to the null string or the nothing string so they've got a string there for the binary so s binary we're going to initialize it to the nothing string so there we go and then convert the number to binary using the following recipe or algorithm repeat until the number is zero so that makes sense. Repeat while the number is zero. Um, so we're going to repeat this process until what? Until I don't know. Until something equals zero. I don't know what it's going to be zero. Let's, we'll see how it goes. We'll play around with that. So let's take this number. We know that that number. Let's say it's going to be a 19. So I need to take that number and I need to find out what is left over after. I, that's going to be the remainder. They have actually declared a remainder for us. Our remainder. Oh, that's the longest spinning territory today. Remainder equals whatever the number is. And we want what the remainder is. That's the mod function. When we divide it by two, so we take all the twos out, what's left over? That's what the remainder is going to be. The remainder is going to be whatever's left over after I take out all the twos. And I'm going to take this binary string and I'm going to add the remainder door to it. But obviously this is a string and we want to add it as a... And this, this is an integer and this is a string. So we want to add the remainder to the string. Now, normally when you add to a string, you just add on like this. And as I said, remainder is an integer. So we want to convert this from an int to a string so that we can add it. So convert that number to a string so we can add it onto the binary. But they said we are adding this value to the left because we're starting from the bottom, when we get this first value, that value actually needs to be right at the back. So whenever we add a new value, we don't want to add it on the right-hand side. We want to add it to the left-hand side. So we actually want to do this. We want to move this to the front of the binary. Well, don't even copy my brackets. And then add the binary there. So what we're doing is we're taking this in the first case. If it's 19, what's left over? 1. Add the 1 to the front of the binary string which is nothing and then we find the next one we've already got a one we're going to add in front of it so that's what we're going to keep on doing okay but then what must we, we when we do this again we want to we don't want to use that number again we want to go to a nine so we want to actually work out 
when we divide 2 into 19, we do get the 9, so that's going to be the div. So we're now going to say our number, so something's going to equal to our number div 2. And because I'm working out the remainder on our number, I, I'm actually going to change our number to itself divided by 2. Because I'm finished using it, I'm finished using the 19, and I'm going to keep doing it. So it's a 19, right? So when we say this, 19 divided by 2, what's left over? This is going to be a 1. We're going to add the 1 onto the nothing in front of it. So it'll be nothing plus a 1 in front. And then we find out what's left over. Okay, so not what they've over, what when we divide the number by two, that's going to be 19 divided by two is nine. And now that becomes my new number. So now we repeat this process again. So now no, now it's not 19, now it's a nine. Now think about it being a nine. Now what if I divide nine by two, it's also going to be a one remainder. We're going to take that one and add it to the front of the string. And what is nine divided by two? It is four. And we're going to keep going. And so if now four divided by two. There's no remainder, so we add that 0 to the front of it. 4 divided by 2 is 2, boom, and then we do this again. 2 divided by 2 is also 0, put a 2 in front. 2 divided by 2 is a 1, go to the front. 1 divided by 2, we left with a 1, add that 1 to the front. 1 divided by 2 will be 0, and that's when we stop. So we want to stop when our number is a zero and that's what's left over and that should be what our binary number is there we go and then we want to display that in the label binary number colon is that so let's do that so the after we've done all this process we can go lbl q3 dot caption and we're going to say binary number colon plus our binary string Okay, I think that's fine. So let's test it. Let's test it. Oh, what are the errors? Oh, I forgot too many pluses there. So I'm going to take out that plus. So let's go run. So if I give it a 19, yeah, that looks legit. And if I give it, what other number did they, did they suggest? 45. Let's give it a 45. 45. Is it a 10110? Yeah, there we go. So spot on. Well done, everyone. We got that one working. For more videos from this exam paper, as well as the other videos from other exam papers, go to our playlists on our YouTube channel. Click on that subscribe button. Leave us a like. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.